Okay, so in this video, we're going to go through the basic setup of a DayZ server. Now, this is going to show us everything from the start, from when you initially get it from Ping Perfect, to adding a few mods, changing the schedule, how to change the server name, etc. We're going to start with the basics. If this looks like something you're interested in, stick around and hit that sub button, and let's get into the video. So the first thing I do is click on the mod manager and what you've got to do is enable both of these. Now both of these would be red, but simply clicking on them will come up as green. And once you've installed both of them, that's a good way to get started. It's a fairly simple way. So after quickly doing that, what I want to do then is I want to make sure that my server is available on the DAISY launcher. Now the simple way of doing this is pretty much you need to highlight the number here. Once that's fully highlighted, if you see in the top we've got the launcher, um, the DAISY launcher, paste the number in there and hit the check server. Once it's green, it shows it's going to work on the DAISY launcher. And if you notice at the bottom, I have got a few mods set up. Uh, I will go through this with you. I have set a few basic mods up just to see if the, um, if the server was running. But we'll go through this with you again and add in the mods. But that's, that then will enable it to be seen on the actual DAISY launcher. And if we open up the DAISY launcher, just to double check, obviously our server will be there. And there it is. So with the server now pretty much basically set up, obviously it is, the server is now usable. What you're going to probably want to do is add a few mods. So going on to adding mods, okay, it's pretty simple. You just click on the Steam Workshop, type in the mods. In this case, we're going to put in uh, Gozi, and once I spell that right. But once you put in Gozi, obviously this is the mod I use, okay. So that's all you're going to need to do is click the Install button. Okay, now these are some of the most simpler mods. What you're going to need to highlight here is this number. So the, the number across, which I'll highlight in a second, there we go. So we will need that number. I will come back to that in a second. It's a bit quick. But I'll show you where to get that number from as well. So we will need to add that number to our command line. So we'll just need to wait for the, for the mod to finish installing. We'll go out. We'll have a quick look then into the command line. And then obviously I'll show you then how to get, how to get into the command line. And then how to make sure that's enabled to run in the DAISY launcher as well. So that's just finishing up now installing, so that's perfect. So after it's finished installing, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to put this in an, into the command line. So these are the mods that we've already got installed. Okay, now as you can see, we've got five there, but we still only have four in the actual launcher. And there's still only four that's available, as you can see there. So what we're going to do now is add this to our command line. And then we're going to make sure this added to our DAISY launcher as well. So like I said just now, the number is important. Now the way we can find the number is up there. It's the at number. So we have to put at in front of it. But that's the number that you're going to need. I'll also show you another place we can find this now in the file manager. So if you click on the file manager, there are the mods we've got so far. So they're the ones that are downloaded. This is why that number is important. Once you start getting 20, 25, 30 mods, okay, it becomes a bit difficult. So if you copy that number... Okay, so what we're going to do then is open up our command line. What you're going to need to do is use the second one down. Now, when you initially open uh, Ping Perfect, it will be on this top one. What we need to do is on the right hand side, you've got select and selected. It's just select the DAISY launcher version. Okay, make sure it says that. That's where we will be able to input our um, input our mods. Okay, now as you can see, I've already got a couple there. So that's all we're going to need to do is to add a semicolon at the end of this and then paste in that number. On the first time, what I will say is they don't come with semicolons, so if your mods aren't working, make sure the semicolon's in there. But if we just add the semicolon and paste this in, and then we press apply. Okay, so once you've pressed apply, you just need to give it a minute for obviously all that to settle down. And then we're going to go through and, and show you then how to make sure that's going to come up on our server, and it's going to work in the DAISY launcher. Okay, so to check that it's going to work in the DAISY launcher, what we need to do is copy this number again, okay? So I always restart the server, the server first as well. I mean, I'm not sure if you've got to do that, to be honest. It's just something I've got into a habit of doing. Whack a restart on the server. But then what you need to do is copy the same number as we did earlier, where we, where we, where we tested the server initially, just make sure it, it would run. So we need to copy this number. Go back up then to your DAISY launcher guide. Okay, so... You can see there we've still only got the three there, so we're just going to reset this or paste the number back in, even though it's the same number, and check the server again. Okay, and there it is. That's the mod available. So we know now that when we click on the actual DAISY launcher, when we actually open up our DAISY launcher, that mod is going to be there, and obviously that, that then is going to be good to go. What I would say is if you've got the DAISY launcher open in the background, close it down and reopen it again just in case you're not getting it from that way. But mine was closed on anyway, so you can see there that the mod is available to use and that's that's the simple way of adding mods. 
I mean, when we start coming to more difficult mods where we've got to start changing the events and all that sort of stuff, the type files or anything, the spawnable events, we'll get to that as well. And I'll, that will be in a future video, so I will go through that with you. But that is the basic way of getting your initial mods up and running and the basic way of obviously checking that your server's working and that it's working with a daisy launcher. Moving on, then we're going to look into the configuration files. Now, what I advise is before doing anything with the configuration files, always stop the server. The amount of times I've been doing changes in here and come back to it and they don't work or something because I haven't stopped the server, make sure you stop the server before opening the map. Once you get open right in the configuration files, you can change a lot of things from the name, the server speed, the nighttime speed, light, etc. All that sort of good stuff. And that's what we're going to be looking at now. Now, if you have not come across this before, I imagine some of you have, but if you haven't come across it, uh, don't get too flustered about all these numbers and all these lines, etc. Um, make a quick save of the original, just in case you make a mistake with, uh, with when you're obviously making changes. So I always recommend doing a backup. Once you've got your backup saved and you can start making changes, the things we're going to be looking at now is changing the server name, like I said, the server speeds, the light, taking away the personal glow and light and making the nights dark, okay? So I've got my Valnin one up on the left, and I've got the one up on the right. So, I, so on the left is my Valnin, the one I use for Valnin. So I'm pretty much going to be copying most of the figures in from that one to the one on the right, which is my new server. So starting off, we're just going to change the name. So it's pretty much, you just pretty much type in whatever name you need. Obviously, I'm going to, this is where I'm going to put in the, um, there we go. Apocalyptical resistance and I'm going to put it in hardcore. So I'm just going to place that in there I may as well do it now and change it from extreme to the hardcore version and obviously either yeah, there's no kill on site as well uh, Underneath that you can see passwords so if you want to do and put a server password I am going to put something like one two three four in there just to just to put a password in there But if you want to insert a server password, that's where you'd also input that and then we get moving down, okay, there's there's a lot of things you can see on here, okay. We're only going to be playing about with a couple of them. So there's the server speed, which is this year. So there's a, the server speed and time, etc. So we're going to be changing the one on the on the left to match the one on the right. Now the only thing I'd say is in a slightly different format, you can see system time, time acceleration, time persistent, etc. Uh, that's in a different format to what we've got on the right. But as long as you match up the figures with the correct way, that will work for you. That will give you an average sort of time speed. Uh, it works on Valen at roughly about two, two and a half hours of light, followed by about 25 to 35 minutes of dark. Okay, now I think that's a good happy medium, and that's what I've used on all my servers. And I'm going to be honest, I think the majority of um, AR servers run on, on very, very similar figures. The other thing we're going to change when we're in this section is we are going to take away the personal glow, which is, I don't know if you've seen this, but it's like a glow that sort of comes off your body even in dark. I want to take that away. I want to go back to the basics. And I want to make the nights black. I don't want the nights where you can still see and run around like it's full moon every night. If it's raining, dark and cloudy, then I want them black where you can't see where you're going. And again, these changes can be made here just slightly further down. And obviously, whenever you do anything, just save it as you're doing it. So if you look further down now, we're going to just quickly look now at the uh, light settings. We'll get them changed and then we'll go from there. So you can see the light settings on the left are one for dark night and one for disabled personal light. And on the right, I've got zero and zero. So it's pretty simple. You've, you've just got to turn the ones on the right. So on the server you're using, you just have to input the figure one and input the figure one then on the personal light. And obviously that disables that. Now it does say, obviously it says there, you can read it in front of you as well. And once you've got that, okay, all, all your details are over. So you've copied everything you want. The server is what you want it to be. It is pretty much then of just saving, saving the server. Obviously, double check what you've done first, and you can see that you can see there that the input that we've changed, saving the saving what you've done. It's important. Don't just cancel. It's obviously going to cancel everything. Just come back out and then restart the server, and that then will enable all these changes. So all the changes we've just made. Once you restart the server and give the server some time to boot up, all them changes that we made will be on the server. And just before we go on to the next step, if anybody wants to have a copy of my Valenin server, just for um, just so if they want to have a look at themselves and see what settings I've got, just drop me a shout either on Twitter or Discord or wherever you can find me, or comment in the video below and I'll send you a copy. So the first thing we're going to need to do for this is again is to stop the server. So once we stop the server, we need to open the configuration files again. But you're going into sli something slightly different now. You're actually going into the you're going to be going into the BE server, I think it's called, there we are, BE server. So what we need to do is open that and we need to check your password. Now for the purpose of this I've got Chris1, so we just save the password 
Okay, so once this is called your recon password. So once you've got that saved, you need to come out of this. Again, we need to save any details that we've done. And we need to come out. And then once we've come out, we're going to need to open up our battle eye. So it's in file manager, it's in battle eye. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to delete something. Now once we get in there, I'll show you what we need to delete. So open your bat file up, and you see you've got two. You've got two there. You've got BE times 64, BE times 64, and then you've got one with numbers and letters on the one below. That's the one you're going to need to delete. Okay, you need to delete the one with numbers and letters on. So just click on that and delete it. And then what we'll do, you will generate a new one further on, but we're going to put a new schedule in as well. Okay, so once we get that deleted, so just click on it and get it deleted. Okay, nice and simple. And then we're going to put a new schedule in. So once that's been done, right, we're just going to open up the battle eye again. We're going to go into Convig. We're then going to click on the scheduler. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to copy and paste the same scheduler as I got for Valnin over to this. Again, guys, if you want to copy these templates, you can. Or you can pause the video at any point and just obviously copy what I got, although I'm aware there's a lot of text. But you can get a template, no worries. So I'm just going to paste my Valnin template into there. Obviously, this does give out some messages, in-game messages as well, which say, welcome to the Valin server, and the Valin server will shut down in 15 minutes or one hour, whatever it is. So I'm going to have to reword that just to show that it's, um, it's a new hardcore server. But all the rest of that then is going to be the same, all right? It is going to be that simple. When you come back out to this and that's copied in, and the schedule is copied in, you can see I've got it saved there. I just So I just copy it all. Like I said, I'm going to have to redo some wording, but that's no worries. We're going to paste that straight in. Again, we're going to reset the server after doing this. And then hopefully then that scheduler would work. Um, I'm going to be honest, the only way to try that out is when you're actually in-game and you're actually seeing if it's worked and if the scheduler is reset and etc. But fingers crossed that should work and everything should be fine. So guys, I am going to end the video there, okay? Thanks for watching. Um, there are going to be more tutorials coming up, especially going more in-depth with mods, etc. Different mods that need type files and things changing and I'm also going to think about putting in some videos about how to build an offline mode and then how to build like your own admin bases or your own specific traders and now obviously then to bring them into the actual game uh, obviously for those of you that play the Valen server that can see that I did bridges etc so that's the sort of thing I'm going to do as well but guys if you are if you have enjoyed this video it's been helpful hit the sub and like button to help me out and I'm um, hopefully I look forward to the next one so guys cheers for watching